Welcome into the studio. Just doing a, another little video on sharpeners. Um, my favourite ones are these little short swordfish icon sharpeners. So that's basically how they look when they come. Just got that that goes in there. Now if you've seen my other video you'll know that I changed the blades in these so you can basically just turn the back like that pull that blade out as I said I've got another video you just take that off there and Amazon UK at least I don't know about the rest of the world you can buy these small replacement blades for just a few pounds when you put it back in some people have said is they get a bit of a problem sometimes so you put it in like that align those little nuts and very often this one's gone in pretty good but sometimes you can't actually get it in past there like that okay it won't push in and people are not sure what to do well all it really is is a, a small metal uh, lever inside and that's what controls this part uh, basically flicking in and dragging the pencil in when you rotate this so if it won't go in it's basically because that metal is touching in here so if you just turn the sharpener upside down it'll just drop in okay so it won't go in like that just turn the sharpener upside down and it just goes in and tighten it so that's how you solve that little problem the other thing people are asking me is how do you know when to change the blade well if the nibs are, uh, are breaking inside that's a sure sign really that either you've got a dab dab damaged pencil or uh, the blade itself has gone blunt so this sharpener is fairly old Okay, so I know the blade is really getting quite blunt in there. I don't know if when I sharpen it, if you listen to it, because when they are going, I can hear a difference between that and a new blade. So let's just listen and see if you can pick it up. Okay, and the other problem is when I'm turning it, it's not dragging the pencil in as quickly as it should. So I could do six, seven, eight turns on there and the pencil won't go in. And it's still, as you can see, quite blunt. The end was bad on it anyway, but normally it should pull in much quicker. But it's like going round and round and round and round, and it's hardly any sharper. Okay, if I bring the new one out, so it's a brand new blade in here. That's a different sound, I don't think you could hear it, and you can see two turns and it's completely sharp so that's what should happen you should be able to put it in pull that out quite firmly and then it'll drag the pencil in within say two or three turns and that's about as sharp as I would do a pastel pencil anyway but when your blade is going blunt that's when it's you see it's going round and round and round and no matter how much I pull that back and really pull it to get a bit of tension. It's not dragging it in. That's as sharp as that will make it. Put it in the new one. Two turns. Nice sharp blade. Okay, so that's how you know when you need to change it. And you'll find if you've been using your old sharpener for quite a while, when you go over to your new blade, you wish you changed it in the old one a lot quicker. So that was just a short video. I'll show you the sharpener again. This is nothing particularly special about this, but I can um, just get those replacement blades. And I've used one of these now for, you know, since I started with pastel pencils. Okay, so hope that's helped some people and I'll see you all again real soon. If you're looking for even more great art sources, I've really got you covered. First off, I've got a Patreon channel. It's been going well over a year or so, packed with around about 50 or more videos and new ones every month. Lots of the videos are uh, many hours long, so you can see they're really, really in-depth. Subjects such as um, turtles, birds, elephants, 
Big Cat, you name it, is on there. So that's my Patreon channel. And also on that Patreon channel, before I go into something else, I've got a secret Facebook group. So only the members are actually on there. It's the most supportive and friendly Facebook group that I've ever seen. I know I'm biased, but it really is. We've got uh, four or five hundred members on there and they all help each other. So that's a great added bonus that comes free with it. Also, you get line art every month as well. And we've just designed a brand new companion website for it. So if you've joined other patrons and uh, channels and you found it very, very difficult to navigate around, we've got this free website that comes with it. All the videos are now just a single click away. Couldn't be any easier than it is. I've also got my site, jasonmorgan.co.uk. Lots of tutorial videos, DVD discs and downloads on there. And if you're struggling for reference photos for your art projects, I've got some of those too. I've got 900 plus on my website, wildlifeart-online.com. And they will be copyright free for you so you can paint and draw from them and sell your work with no copyright worries whatsoever. So hope you like those extra resources and I'll see you all again real soon.